You want to terraform fast. You want to change blocks quickly. You want to be able to copy and paste structures. And you want to pull schematics into your world from other places. What you want is world edit for Minecraft 118.2. Hello everyone and welcome to the Minecraft tutorial from me, Avamance. And today I'm going to show you how to download and install world edit for Minecraft 1.18.2. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is to run a program that is going to allow the Minecraft game to see the mod that you are adding. You've got two choices. You can either use this fabric mod or you can go for forge. Both of them will work absolutely perfectly and it is entirely down to you which one you would prefer. Both of these links and any others that you are going to need to do this are in the description below to make it really easy for you and to make sure that you go to the right web page. Now, if you want to go for the Forge installer, simply come up to the Minecraft version on the top left hand side. You want to make sure you have highlighted 1.18.2. So as you have here, downloads for Minecraft Forge MC 1.18.2. If that's any other number, make sure you come up to the left and change that. And if this has got a development under the download latest, you might want to move away and go to download recommended. Hit that installer and that will download your file to wherever you'd like to download it whatever you do do not click anything on this page that would be a mistake wait for this top right hand side to show the skip button click skip and that will take you to where you can download your installer you should then have in the bottom left probably of your screen forge.1.18.jar file that is absolutely safe if it says should i save this to desktop this could be a bad thing it is absolutely fine if you double click on that installer, you'll get this Forge loading screen here. Just make sure it says 1.18.2 Forge. Install the client and make sure you're putting it into the Minecraft folder. If you've got more than one instance, you can go down here and you can select which Minecraft instance you want to install it onto. But mostly you want to install it into .minecraft, then click OK. That will then install Forge for you. Now, personally, I prefer to work with Fabric, so I'm going to show you how to download that. Come to this page on the Fabric website, again the link is in the description below and you want to download Universal Jar, not this big old Windows button here, the Download Universal Jar button. Click on that, that will show you where you want to install, hit save and you'll find that you've got the installer saved down in probably the bottom left of your screen. That is absolutely perfectly safe. If Windows says, are you sure you want to do this, do say yes. You can then come down to the bottom left, hit this little arrow here, you'll see show in folder. Click that and that will take you straight to your installer. If you then double click on your installer, very similar to the way Forge was, you will see a version of installer here. You can drop down and change whichever version you want to install, but 118.2 is what we are after. Again, choose your location. You could choose multiple locations if you wanted to, but I'm going to stick with the .minecraft and hit install. That will run through and you'll see that it has been successfully installed. It also says you may require Fabric API and you are going to. I'm going to show you how to do that now. The API will act a little bit like the glue or the hook to bring those mods into your Minecraft game and they won't work properly without it. The good thing is once you've installed it you can just forget about it. I'll show you how to do that now come to the Fabric API website, which is on Curse Forge, and that is linked in the description down below. You'll be finding yourself on this page right here. You're gonna to need to click on the Files button. Once on that Files page, you will see the most updated file right at the top, which happens to be 1.18.2. However, if that's a later file and you wanna download 1.18.2 anyway, you can just scroll down to these recent files listing, and just here you can see we've got 1.19 as a snapshot file there for example so if you wanted to download it for 119 you could do so here however 118 is the one that we want now really important you want to download this not install it so you want to come to this download button here so click that download it will take you to a page that says they will be loading in a few seconds that's so they can lob a load of adverts at you which is fair enough because they've got to be able to eat right and then save your download APL file into whatever folder you want and then, last but not least, you are going to need the actual world edit mod. I'm going to show you how to do that. The link in the description will bring you to this different CurseForge page. This is the one for world edit itself. And again, you can see the main file here, Forge Fabric MC 1.18.2. And then you've got other options down below. This is the one we are after. So come and hit 
download. Same as before, you'll go to a page that says all five seconds watch these adverts. You just watch the adverts, don't bother clicking on them, it's absolutely fine. And then you'll get your save box up here. Save that into that. Now, if you downloaded all four of the files I've just shown you, the installers can now be deleted. You don't need to keep them, so just get rid of them. Whether it is the Forge or the Fabric, it's just cluttering up your box. If you've gone for Fabric, you should have your API file right there and also the World Edit Mod file right there too. And what you need to do now is get those files into your Minecraft game. Let me show you how. So open up your Minecraft launcher for Java and you should find down here that you've got Fabric Loader or Forge Loader 1.18.2. Now if you haven't got that, that is not a problem. What you do next is exactly the same. Do not hit the play button, hit installations. Once you get up to installations, you'll probably find that you've got your Fabric Loader up on the top. However, again, if you have not, you can find it very easily. It might be that you need to tick this modded box up on the top right hand side. You can see I unticked it and it disappeared make sure that's ticked if you still can't see it click new installation what you're going to find here is the version drop down click on that and you'll probably find it in that list you may need to scroll right down to the bottom you may need to find it somewhere in that list but release fabric loader 1.18.2 give that fairly a name whatever it is you want to call it type it in there and hit create once you've done that and you've got Fabric Loader 1.18.2 there waiting for you, come to the folder. Don't hit play yet. Come to this folder and that will take you to your Minecraft folder. And you can see here I'm in my .minecraft folder. I've got all kinds of stuff lurking around in here. Yours will probably be a lot more simple. In fact, yours may not even have a mods folder. If you don't, create a mods folder by right clicking, put in new folder and just call it mods. M O D s no capitals then come into your mods folder i've taken all of the mods out of my folder just to show you that if it's a brand new mods folder it will be completely empty then what you want to do is drag both the fabric api and also the world edit mod into that mods folder and that is all you have to do you don't have to do anything else and then come back to your Minecraft launcher game. You'll have your Fabric Loader 1.18.2 down in the left hand side. Now what you can do is press the play button. Now what it will probably say is, watch out, this is a mod. Mojang didn't make this, are you sure you wanna go with it? It is absolutely safe. You understand the rules, hit play. You'll be faced with your standard launcher screen right here. You'll see down in the bottom left, Minecraft 1.18.2 slash fabric or it might say forge and modded that shows you that it has picked up those mods and it knows what it's doing now go into single player and create yourself a world and you'll find yourself in a minecraft world just like you would for any other game however this one is a little bit different test that it is all properly worked by typing slash slash wand if you then get a wooden axe in your hand you know world edit is active and you have my permission to get excited now this isn't a tutorial on how to use world edit but there is a link in the description below to a couple of videos that will give you some beginner and some intermediate world edit commands and how to use them and once you start using world edit you will be able to do all kinds of things that you never thought you could this world edit mod will allow you to manipulate your environment in so many ways changing and replacing blocks adding blocks really fast making shapes is absolutely brilliant and one of the most brilliant things is the ability to create and more importantly import schematics into your world from one world to another now i offer all kinds of schematics on my avamance.com free downloads page so feel free to go and check that out and pulling a schematic into your world could not be more simple simply to double slash schematic load and then the name of the schematic that you're going to bring in. So I'm just going to bring in one that I've made a little while ago called Armourer House. So that is a house of the armourer. You'll see there it just says type slash slash paste and pop it in your world. So slash slash paste and boom. That is right there sitting waiting for you. You've done no work whatsoever. Quite cool really, isn't it? And what's also really cool is if you bring in the wrong schematic and you've made a mistake, that's fine. Type slash slash undo and boom that puppy's gone i hope you really enjoy all of the things that world edit can bring you and over the course of the next weeks and months i'm going to be offering all kinds of extra schematics that you might want to include in your worlds as well so make sure you have subscribed and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any of them 
So if you've enjoyed that video, please do slap the like button and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.